What's good, YouTube fight fans all over the world? It's your boy, Real Talk Boxing, back at you again. I want to revisit Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. Exhibition. Is it really an exhibition? Well, according to Roy Jones Jr., it's not. I heard an interview with Roy Jones in the Breakfast Club. They asked Roy Jones a number of questions. He cleared the air on a lot of things. First off, Roy Jones says why he took the fight is because he's always wanted to face Mike Tyson. Years ago, he's wanted to face Mike Tyson. He said he reached out. Mike Tyson's people and handlers told Roy Jones that Mike was done with boxing. Roy Jones says, I was never offered $20, $40 million and turned it down. He says, no. He was told that Mike Tyson was done with boxing. So he kept on trucking, went back down to light heavyweight. They also asked Roy Jones, do you think Mike Tyson's going to come in there and actually fight an exhibition? Roy Jones says no. Mike knows one speed and one speed only. He said, you got to understand, I know what I'm getting myself into. And I've prepared myself to deal with what Mike Tyson brings. If he's going 100, I'm going 100. He said, and I'm definitely sure that's the case. So, Exhibition is a lie. First of all, this exhibition is eight rounds. What have you ever heard of an exhibition being eight rounds? Exhibitions are three rounds, four rounds, maybe five rounds at the most, but not eight. You know, when you're up and coming in the professional ranks, you fight four, six, eight rounds. And that's in the professional ranks. Well, in a professional fight, excuse me. So an exhibition should not be eight rounds. They asked Roy Jones, are you guys wearing headgear? Roy Jones did answer, but I couldn't make it out. It was like, he like mumbled something. I couldn't make it out. But right after that, he did say that what they should have done was put us in 16-ounce gloves with no headgear. Roy would rather not wear headgear, he says. But he said they put us in 12-ounce gloves. So I'm not sure if he's meaning wearing 12-ounce gloves and headgear, which I hope that's the case because 12-ounce isn't that far from what you wear in a professional fight. So hopefully they do have headgear on. Now headgear can protect you from cuts, but concussions, no. Do you still feel the same blunt force trauma as you do without headgear? Yes. Well, how you know, real talk? Why Why you say that? Because I've been in there with headgear before. Many times in the ring I've sparred with headgear on, and every time I get smacked in the face with headgear, it feels like I don't have it on. The last time I was actually strapped up in headgear, I was 41 years old. At a gym. Sparring somebody younger than me. 10 years younger than me. Now granted we wasn't going 100%. But every time he hit me in the face. I felt it. It is what it is. So don't think you can't get rocked or knocked out. Or rendered unconscious. Just because you have headgear on. So if they are wearing 12 ounce gloves. Which were already stated. Then now hopefully. They're wearing headgear. Now I saw a exhibition fight between Mike Tyson and Quick Tillis. It was four rounds. Mike Tyson was going 100. He was trying to knock Tillis lips off. I just watched it. I watched half of it last night and I just finished half of it the, the other half about 30 minutes ago. He wasn't taking it easy on Quick Tillis. Quick Tillis was. I think he was hoping it would let Mike know, hey man, slow up. It's supposed to be an exhibition. But Mike didn't care. He only knows one speed. One speed. I remember... Lennox Lewis was doing an interview with someone. They asked them, how was it meeting Mike and sparring Mike for the first time? He said, man, when I met Mike, I was very surprised. He was very humble, very soft-spoken, and very kind. He said, but the next day when we got in the ring to spar, he was a totally different guy than he was the day before versus the one that was in the ring. He said he ran across that ring like a madman. He said he tried to kill me. Lennox Lewis said this. He tried to literally kill me. He said, we sparred a number of three times. He said the first and second time was real rough on me. He said, but by the third time, he started figuring things out and it was bad for Mike. He said, but Mike had no mercy. It didn't matter if we were in the ring sparring. He said he didn't care. He only knows one speed. So I believe Mike is going to come out to dust Roy off. And I'm hoping Roy don't get hurt. But everybody's really, really concerned about what Mike can do to Roy. But you still have to understand Roy is a grown man too. Real talk, he's smaller. I get that. Real talk, you've been knocked out. I get that. 
but they're both in their 50s. Do I have to keep telling y'all whatever age you are, everything on your body is the same age as you are? Things change. I'm going to say it again, and I probably need to get a hat made with it on it. Age brings about a change. Mike is coming to take lunch money. Mike is coming to take lunch money, baby. You better believe that. Oh, man, I'm not paying no freaking pay-per-view to watch an exhibition fight. I am. And you know what? You're going to see my reaction because when they fight, and hopefully they stick with it, this exhibition fight, so-called exhibition fight, I'm going to record my whole reaction sitting right there in my recliner. So you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll get my whole breakdown. You'll get me hooping, hollering, screaming, coaching from the side like they can hear me through the TV. You'll get all of that. I know I told you guys last video that I was going to have something controversial for you guys. Something you guys are going to question. A lot of dislikes. It wasn't this video. I really want time to do perfect preparation. I need to get good footage, good photos, and everything before I put that video up. And hopefully you guys will like it. I mean, you're going to say a lot of stuff when you see the video. Oh, man, you real talk, you crazy. No way in the world, homeboy. You old. You too old. You too fat. But when somebody says somebody would knock me out and you don't know the credentials, I got to put the proof out there, man. I have the pudding and I have proof all in there. Okay? So y'all stay tuned. Stay with your boy. Respect all. Fear none. As always, God bless. Share. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz, y'all. We love you. Real talk. Out.